Over here! You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Triss, you put yourself out there. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Voltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged it. An interact. Natalis is far- Politics is secondary right now. A week ago I got a message from an informer. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. Flotsam it is then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! War is a good time to forge friends. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known The Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses, and yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Jennifer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more. For someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. <laughs>